Hi there, welcome to OnlineLessonVideos.com. I'm Ian Walsh, your fiddle teacher for this lesson video. We're gonna be working on a tune called the Sailor's Hornpipe. It's in the key of G, there's two parts. It's a very common melody, pretty simple melody too. There's a lot of room for variation. So I'm gonna show you in this video some of the variations I like to play for this tune. This is a request that came into the site. I'm very happy to do it for you. Please enjoy my version of the tune Sailor's Hornpipe. So first thing first, familiarize yourself with the key of G. It's pretty simple on the fiddle. I'm gonna show you right now a quick G scale. Then I'm gonna show you some arpeggio motions you can do over the one chord, which is G in this case, and the two chord, which comes into play a lot. So here we go. A G scale spanning all four of your strings. We start on the low G. Play an A, B, C. Back down. Run through that on your own or with me a couple more times. One, two, three, four. Back down. Okay, so after you've done that a few times, or if you don't want to and you're very familiar with the scale already, here's something else you can try out to get warmed up for a tune like this. We start with a G arpeggio. That's gonna be four notes within the first scale. That's a G, that's a B, up to your D string, and then a G. We're gonna continue from there. We're gonna play a G again, and a B, and a D, and a G. So we put all those notes together. Back down. Now our next one over the two chord, which is an A in this case for the key of G, we're gonna play another arpeggio. This is a little bit trickier. You're gonna start with a fingered note that's your A on your G string. Play the same pattern uh, follows here, but the notes are gonna change. So an A, C sharp, an E. A with your fourth finger or with the open string. We continue from there, A, C sharp. E, and then the A. Back down. So you might want to run through these. It can be a good way to get your fingers used to the movements that you're going to see in this tune. Okay. That two chord is what gives this tune its, its trademark sound. Okay. So we have the beginning of this tune. We start off with two pickup notes, and that's a G and an F. And then we have a downbeat. We have a G on the E string. And we're gonna do a heavy down bow, and we're gonna do another down bow over here. That's your G and your D string. So it sounds like this. If I were to count it in, one, two, three. 
One, two, three. One, two, three. Let me show you this next little line of notes, and then I'll show you some small variations you can do with just this beginning phrase. We go to a D and we play. That's D, C, B, D, G, F, G. Let's put it all together. One, two, three. One, two, three. One more time. One, two, three. Okay, something you can add to the beginning of this tune for a bit of flair, and again to give the tune kind of that trademark sound, is a little um, some, similar to an Irish roll. You're going to use your third finger, and you're just going to grace that note. Now, when you're playing it slow like this, the effect doesn't really come across. Um, if you speed it up, and this whole tune, the sailor's hornpipe, is going to have a lot of these trills and um, grace notes in it. Okay, in the next section, we're going to work over the two chord, which is where the uh, the A comes into play. Okay, here we go.